in the beginning, you when you set out on this journey to wanting the ticket of your party as a presidential candidate, you went to your former principal, former president, good luck, Jonathan. Yeah. And one of the things that you were reported to have said was that if he's in the race, he will not run. Yeah. Do you still stand on that promise? I do, but I have gone to a point of no return. In fact, I will be seeing him very soon. He is one of those persons I respect most uh, in this country. He is the most respected person I have because I emerged and came to national limelight through him. Uh, but certainly we have come to establish a family relationship with Jonathan. And to me, he cannot be in the race and I will be in the race out of respect and modesty. And I have given him enough time. He has asked me to go ahead and I have gone ahead. I have even gotten another body now, the mandate of my elders to continue. So if Jonathan is running, it's a very big problem to me. I will have to sit down with him and others, especially the elders who, no matter how loose people appear to see the and my endorsement, it's a big problem for me to take it out. But I mean it, I cannot be contesting with Jonathan uh, on for the same position in life because he is my boss, he is my mentor, and he is my, my, my elder. So uh, irrespective of where he comes from or who he is, to me he is the most respected person that I have. So I still harbor that feeling, but I know he is not uh, likely to run, having seen me gone so far into this race. Mm -hmm. Because whatever I become, I emerge through him. I know he will need to be there because he's a good person. He's a good, he was a good president and he was called all names and fairly. And uh, there was nobody that was better than him. He was better than the present administration. Maybe he needs to come back and redeem that uh, to rebrand himself. But my assumption or ascension to governorship is a rebranding. It's a, it's a, it's a way or manner that God uses to say that uh, Jonathan is a, is a good man. And of course, uh, if I become, it is his son, it is his protege, it is uh, his own brother that is a president. But certainly, I agree with you. I have made that commitment, and I stand by the commitment. Even if we are reversing, it is left to him to see the burden of uh, his responsibility as a father, as an elder. Mm -hmm. Having seen me going through up to this level, where I uh, get, I got the endorsement of my elders, even though the endorsement is being contended, yeah. but certainly it is something to say that he should be proud of. He should be proud to say his son has gone so far and give me the boost, because if there is anybody that I want to assist me to go far, it's him. Uh, is your political godfather? Yes, he is. So, I mean, in the scheme of things now, it, it came to light that uh, former President Gulag Jonathan might be running uh, on the platform or might be joining the APC where he might be seeking the ticket of the APC. That's what is being reported. Do you, do you have an idea of Yes, that? I heard about it. That is one of the reasons why I came. You know, I came to see him to discuss that issue because I saw it on the papers uh, and I saw it on the uh, channels that some people are urging him to run. I had several discussions with I don't want to divulge here and he has given me assurances and they go ahead to run. And if something things are changing, I should be able to know as the first son of the family. And so we will be able to sort out this very soon very, uh, by the grace of of God. But certainly, with the coming of so many candidates uh, in the APC, I don't know, he will look at his chances. And of course, to me, uh, I don't have any issues to join with him.